So this video is all about an um, organelle called the vacuole. If we look at this diagram of a plant cell, you can see that the vacuole is here in the center. Uh, they call it a central vacuole because it's usually somewhere near the middle of the cell. The interesting thing, if you're looking at a plant cell, is that, like an actual plant cell under the microscope, is that you can't see the vacuole. It's clear. It's mostly filled with water, you know, sugar, and a few other things. But all of that stuff is clear, and you can't see it. So it's actually just going to look like a gap, kind of in the middle of the cell. And you can see the nucleus typically in plant cells. And it's usually pushed over to the side because the vacuole's in the center, kind of taking up all this room. One of the things we're going to talk about when we get to osmosis is the idea that water can go in and out of cells depending on the type of environment that they're in. When plant cells have plenty of water around them, and they're in what's called a hypotonic environment, the vacuole will be full, kind of like it is in this picture. And you can see when the vacuole's full, it pushes out on the cell wall all around the cell. And this makes the cell rigid. So if you have a plant that has plenty of water, all of the cells have their vacuoles are full, the cell walls are rigid, they're pushing out on each other pretty strongly, and that allows plants to stand up straight. If you have a plant that then doesn't have a lot of water, maybe it's a you know, house plant and you forgot to water it, or maybe it's outside you know, and it's just been dry for a while, what will happen is the plant starts to use the water that's stored up inside that vacuole. What that means is that the cell wall is not quite as rigid anymore, it's not going to be pushing on the other plant cells around it quite as hard, and that plant will actually start to wilt. And that wilting is actually just the water being used up from the vacuole inside the cell, and they're not pushing on each other anymore. So for you, you know, your body is supported by your skeleton, a lot of these hard structures. In plants, especially plants that don't have like woody components to them, it's called like secondary growth in plants, um, they're not going to have that kind of stability. So it's actually just their cells pushing on each other that allows a plant to stand upright. But that vacuole is where a lot of that water is stored inside of the cell. Now keep in mind, the cytoplasm around it, that still has uh, water in it, but the vacuole is that main storage location. Uh, just like we've done all along, I think it's valuable to take a look at a transmission electron image of this. Uh, you can see a lot of things in this image a few of them are the chloroplasts, so you can see those. Oh, we mentioned you know, the, the granum earlier, and then the stroma on the inside there as well. Uh, there's a few other things that you can see in here. We've got two little mitochondria that you were seeing from before. Uh, and then the nucleus on this cell would actually be hard to locate. Uh, but the thing that it's showing you here is that the vacuole is this entire space in the middle. It looks empty. It looks as though there's nothing in here. But that's the water. That's like that watery part of the cell, and you're just looking right through it when you're seeing the vacuole of a plant cell. So that's why it looks like all the organelles are kind of pushed to the outside. You know, it's all pushed to the perimeter because the vacuole is taking up that space in the center. So to finish this one up, we just want to talk about a couple of unique factors that go along with the vacuole. Uh, the first one is that it's found in plant cells only. So this is one that we don't have in animal cells, at least not a large central one like that. Some animal cells do have smaller vacuoles, but the idea of like a large central vacuole, that's something that just happens with plant cells. And it's a location for storage. So if we're talking about its function, it's a storage location, mostly for water, like it said in there, sugars, some ions, like some, uh, some salts and things like that as well but mostly water. So we're looking for as our storage thing. So that's the vacuole. It's pretty straightforward, kind of an easy organelle. Hope you learned something. Thank you.